echoing. That's all I could remember was the echoing of my footsteps moving throughout the halls. Slowly, ever so slowly, trying to catch my breath, knowing no matter how deep I breathed, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. I remember taking my hand and pressing it against the cold metal lockers, just moving and not moving, trying to steady myself, trying to figure out my next step, my next move. The echo of the word help and then silence. No one was coming. <laughs> no one wanted to come. So what was I to do? I could see the exit door. It was not far away. That was to my right. To my left was a long, empty hallway. Trotting to decide what way to go didn't make sense. What, what direction would my life go? What should I do? And then, a bell rang out. Doors open. <laughs> Loud. And so many footsteps. Moving past me. As if I wasn't there, if I didn't exist. No one saw me. Laughter rang out against those metal lockers. Laughter I so desperately wanted to feel. To touch, to reach out, to grasp anything. My feet wanted me to move towards the locker, but I just... I couldn't. Which locker? I couldn't remember. What was the point? If I opened it, what would be in it? Nothing. Emptiness. Much to what I was feeling. I looked to my right again and... The exit door was... Getting further and further away. Almost like... Someone was telling me I couldn't go, I couldn't escape. And I looked to my left and there again was an empty hallway. Just emptiness. So I moved to the middle of the hall careful of my steps. Even though the sound bounced off the walls, it still didn't matter. It didn't feel right. None of it felt right. What was I to do? What was the choice? What was the decision? So many options and so many plans and choices that I couldn't quite reach out and grasp. So I moved further and further down the hall, trying to wipe away my wet, sweaty palms. I didn't know why I was sweating. It was almost like I knew something was going to happen before it happened. The fear was taking hold of everything, yet, what could I fear? So much was already done, so much was already seen, yet, what more could I fear?
I didn't see it coming. I should have, but I didn't. The fist came out of nowhere. And the locker that caught me, it hurt. It was cold against my face. I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. I could taste metal in my mouth. And I saw the blood dripping onto the floor slowly, like a slow picture moving just there. I wanted to call out for help, but what was the point? It would echo throughout the halls, yet nobody would come. I was so alone. I was so tired. As I watched the blood drip onto the floor, as my face was pressed against the locker, My choices didn't seem much like choices anymore, that this was my fate. That all I could do was be. Yet something told me I had the strength in me that I was strong and that it wouldn't matter. That one day, it would all just seem so dreamlike. I remember feeling strong in that moment. I remember feeling powerful. Yet, I was frozen. My knees hit the ground and I remember staring out into the distance. And I remember hearing those footsteps echoing, gathering getting further and further away. I remember standing up, wiping the blood off my face. And I remember feeling Like it was going to be okay. It might take a while to be okay. But I knew in my heart So I turned and I walked to that exit door. My hands gripping the bar to push open the door. Yet, it wasn't to run away, it was to stand and fight, no matter how empty those halls were. My choice was this, to go into a shell of a person nobody knew and nobody wanted to know or to become a person I chose to be. This wasn't my fate, this wasn't... This wasn't the end, it was the beginning. And I had a choice. So I pushed the door open. And I took a step forward.
so? What did I see when I stepped forward? Huh. Well, that's a journey. For a person who was able to overcome a lot. A journey she would struggle. A journey she would fight. A journey she would lose. Filled with laughter and tears and frustration and anger. Yet joy, peace, and quiet. Things were quiet. Quiet in a good way, mostly. But it was bright and exciting, even though some days it was a challenge. Even though it was a long, long road, and still a long, long road to continue on. Lots of decisions in life, yet it is your decision to make them, whether they were good or bad, scary or complicated, exciting or free. It's always so scary when things seem to be left in one's hands, alone with the decisions, scary as it may seem. Some choices have to be left on your shoulders. You know, I remember going back and walking those empty halls. I remember so many things just falling away and building up at the same time. I remember standing back and looking down that hall, the one with so many choices and decisions. It was empty and cold, like I remembered. And I stand waiting, but I remember laughing and smiling in the same exact spot. I felt so defeated. I felt like I knew I made the right decision. I know in my heart I made the right decision. Those halls will always be empty for me. They will always be cold and dark <laughs> and empty. Yet, the warmth I felt for myself the love I felt for myself was more than I could ever imagine standing in that one spot, that one spot of knowing what I did for myself was right, yet still feeling confused because not knowing, not knowing if Ten years down the road, I would feel the same. Yet here I am, almost ten years down the road, and yes, it hasn't been easy or fair. Yet I wouldn't trade it for the world. I would... I would continue on. I would... That decision I made was one of the best decisions I have ever made, confusing as it might seem. 
yet I chose to live. I chose to decide that my choices weren't set in stone. That it wasn't my destiny to die in those halls or be defeated in those halls. It was my choice to stand and be brave. They might have been lonely hallways, but I didn't give in, I didn't give up. I chose to be enough. I chose to be brave. I I chose to not let my voice go unheard. I chose to be my voice. I chose to be me.